Hi everyone, I'm the Plant Propagator and welcome to my channel. First, I'm sorry about the background noise, but that's the only way I'm going to stay halfway cool in here. I am at RF Orchids in Homestead, Florida, and, and it's a warm day and it's a little, oh, I just got a little breeze. Oh, wonderful. Uh, it's a warm day and uh, as you might imagine, I've got the place almost to myself. There have been a few people to, to come in. Um, one of the people that did come in was Melissa from Melissa Loves Orchids. And I got to spend a, a lot of one, really good quality, wonderful time with her. She just is really a pleasant person uh, to be around. So if you haven't seen her channel, and you probably have, check out Melissa Loves Orchids. Uh, great person, great channel. Um, and, and I got to share with her some of, the, uh, some of my orchids, which was, which was fun for me to kind of uh, share the fun that I'm having with my orchids and hybridizing and flasking and seedlings. So uh, anyway, great, great fun. Uh, but what I've been doing is spending the majority of my time here at RF Orchids in this area, which is the Cattleya and Dendrobium house. And as you can tell, there are a lot of cattleyas around. These guys, um, I love coming here. Out of the places that I go, the orchids that I get from RF Orchids have the highest survival ranking, at rating at my house. They, they, they really do well. They know how to grow orchids here. They pick really the top quality material to grow in their facilities and they know what they're doing with their uh, you know with their orchid potting mix you go through here I'm just picking this up randomly and there's a new pseudobulb coming out uh, there's in here there's a combination of uh, leca it looks like some um, some some coconut um, coconut husk material um, there they Anyway, the potting mix is good. There's uh, time-release fertilizer in here. These guys know what they're doing and the orchids do well here and they're growing nicely here. And most importantly, when I bring them home to my place, they can grow. Sometimes I don't have time to repot all those. I picked up quite a few orchids today and I'm not sure, I'm not gonna have time to repot them for the next week. And they'll do well long-term if they stay in their potting mix at my place here in, in the, over there in Southwest Florida. So this is South Florida. This is little South Miami and Homestead and I'm on the other coast. I came in here to drop some things off with RF to meet Melissa. I'm giving a, an orchid talk at one of the uh, lo local orchid societies on this coast tonight and then I'm going back. So it's gonna be a long day, but a fun day full of these guys. Anyway, so these orchids are, these Calia orchids, they're great. There's a lot of them here. Um, what you can't see is there's about this many orchids behind you. So they have a lot of Catleys and they do, like I said, fairly well. There's not too many of them blooming now, but there are a few. So if you go through here, um, this is, this is a uh, display only. And, and not for sale because this is one of the few that's blooming. And this is uh, Siam Fancy Wings of Fire. And I actually have uh, this orchid already, so I'm not gonna purchase this. But I am purchasing a few orchids today. I, I should say one of the main reasons I'm here to meet with everyone and to see the orchids is that I still have my retirement gift card money that I gotta spend out. So that really is, I think the main reason that I'm here today uh, and I'm having fun because I get to spend out my money from my old colleagues and my old department at the, uh, the Midwest University. So I'm still, um, and I think I did spend out today and, and then some because I was real excited to see all of the new hybrids that they have here and how well they are. So anyway, the other one that I wanna show you is this one, which is, um, Ah Chung Yo Yo, and then the cultivar is Bling Bling, and this is this is striking because of the because um, you have an orange sepals and petals, and then a yellow lip, and what happens is it makes this flower really striking. This is the only one that's blooming right now, 
Um, but this is a this is this is a great plant. Um, multiple flowers on the spike, a really small plant. Um, but I, I can't, I've already gone through and picked the ones that I liked, and so I've already got my uh, my space and the counter in there full of things. But what I want to do right now is get behind the camera and show you some of these a little bit closer and show you the incredible amount of root growth and new pseudobulb growth and everything like that. So, and then we might take a real quick trip into the Vanda house because that's what these guys are known for. And I did, uh, I picked up one Vanda on this trip. I did a smell comparison and I got the most fragrant Vanda. Uh, that they uh, that they had it was on display and then they had to go in the back house in order to grab one for me and I thought I think that's great anyway start out here we'll go through some of the cat layers just a quick trip because there aren't that many blooming uh, oh and I got to show you one den that I picked up today because it has the coolest flower and then we'll just take a quick trip and a quick look at the Vanda house all right so let me be get behind the camera and we'll take a look at things okay and we're back so we'll take a look at some of these um, so we're back back more at the entrance to the to the greenhouse and you can see you can get maybe a little bit of an idea of the amount of orchids uh, that they have here which is quite a few so on sidiums right there here's here is uh, here, well there's in cyclia these are in spike, but they're not blooming. Uh, there's a Mermio Cattleya right here that is blooming. I don't know, I didn't, I didn't buy these. Not to me, not the greatest flowers. They're a little small. Here's another Mermio Cattleya. Pick it up so you can take a closer look at it. I mean, nice flower, but not my favorites. Okay, taking a look again, we've got just not too many oncidiums here, but a, a nice little flower there. Anyway, this is where we start going into the cats, and most of these, like I said, um, aren't blooming when you take a look at them, but you can, I want you to, and we'll just take a look at this one here, the, I want you to see, you know, the two new pseudobulbs growing out of this uh, orchid in this pot, but this is the, this is kind of what you get, and we look at the pot behind it, and we see the same thing. So on the bottom left, a new pseudobulb, and then kind of in the middle or on the right, another one. Here's two pseudobulbs coming out of that, two new pseudobulbs coming out of that, three, that would have been the one I'd have picked right there, three new pseudobulbs coming out of this plant. Anyway, this is what you get, and this is, I did not get this plant, um, and the prices on these range anywhere from, you can get some of the inexpensive plants for $20, $25, but most of them are $45, uh, $50. Here's a Encyclia guatemalensis, $65, and just really a range of prices here. Here's a, um, here's Pamela Finney right here, but you can take a look at all the plants here. Most of them are in these um, you know, plastic pots, which are fine and they do well. Again, look at the, you know, look at the growth on these things. They do, they're doing pretty well. Um, they have some that are in these nicer pots and they do have, Melissa picked up a lot of these. She really likes these holy pots and I might have to grab some too. They're pretty reasonable here, but all these plants are, you know, they're selling them in these pots and the orchids uh, tend to do well in these pots. Um, and again, the only thing that we have on most of these is the uh, the tag that's right here swaying and the little bit of breeze that I'm getting in the greenhouse. But you can get a gauge of, of how it is. Here's a, here's a golf green hair pig. So the picture there that you may be familiar with, but you know, look at all the plants of uh, hair pig that are available. These are really popular plants. They do well. I've tried some crossing with them and they didn't cross for me very well. Um, these are, I did pick up one of these. So these are, I don't know if you can read the tag, this is Cattleya violacea semi-alba. So they had a few of these and they look good. 
you know, as far as you can see the, the nice root growth on these things, that plant and then that plant there. So they look pretty good. So I picked up one of these and then they have the, the non semi alba behind it. So I picked up just one of uh, species I actually have. This plant is um, pink diamond times chia lin, but um, so I, I think I have one of these already. It does well for me. I have one of these. I have Mackey's Flare, one of my nice flared, you know, it's the same thing. I have Elegant, so I actually picked up this plant, I think, the last time I was here. Um, but lots of, again, just a lot of different orchids here. One of the, thing, one of the other things I want to share with you is they have a ton of these. Uh, these are Maxillaria tenifolia. And they're blooming and they smell just great. So as you walk, go through here, I should turn around the other way. So all of these, as far as you can see to the end, those are all Maxillaria tenifolia. So it's just incredibly fragrant as you walk through this uh, greenhouse. And they're in these uh, conical clay pots and they seem to be doing really well in this environment. All right, as we go here, I do need to show you, I've been looking for Fuchs Orange Nugget. The last time I was here, I asked whether they had any that they could sell to me, and they said no, but I picked one of those up today. And again, these plants look good, and I'm at Bob Fuchs's place, and this is Fuchs Orange Nugget, so I had to get it from, from these guys, and I'm happy, happy I did. It's waiting for me inside. As we move down here, I almost got Brassier Rex because of um, starting to have some success with this really nice flower on this plant. I could show you the picture, but this plant is flowering. Um, reasonably priced, $45. There aren't too many of them as we look down, so there's a few of them here. I think they've been selling pretty good. Nice plant. They're not big, but there's that one right there is, I don't know if you can see, it's spiking. So. You know, decent plant and they look good. Here's another one we got to go here. Uh, again, I, there aren't too many in bloom, so when you see one that is in bloom, you go towards it. And it's not quite open yet. I think what they do is once they, once these guys, and I think that'll look pretty once it opens up all the way. Um, a lot of these plants I should also mention, as you look through here, there's some new, look at the root system. Look at this, look at that one. This is what I say when I, when I look at orchids, this is what I like to see. And there, there, I mean, you know, not nice roots there, but new pseudobulb coming out. So it's nice to get these vigorous growing plants and take them home with you, but you turn around. And I hate to show you, I hate to spend so much time on the roots, but you know, this is what you gotta see. And when you have the roots and you know, nice roots growing out and the pseudobulb, coming out, that's just a good sign. So these orchids, again, the quality is what I stress here and I like. Okay, over on the next counter over there, and we're far away from it now, so you can find some, some, of, the, some of the more inexpensive orchids that, uh, that are in smaller pots that have been sitting here. So these, those are the ones, and I did pick up a few of these, these are the ones that range you know, anywhere from 10, 15, 20 dollars. So I did pick up uh, some of those. I do want to show you, as I go down here, I want to show you just, if I can find it, there, I think I see it from here. There's a, there's a dendrobium that I just had, I had to buy, I had to, get, had to grab. But look at, you know, again, you have, you know, this is, this is what you get. And these are all orchids. I don't know whether you can hear the bird behind me, but he has, uh, he has lots of animals. So you hear dogs barking. So you get the, you get the birds and the, you hear the dogs barking. And uh, it's just a fun place to come to. But I had, to, I had to get this. This was a, this is a den that I picked up. There's only one huge flower, but it really is striking and this den is only this is thirty five dollars um, there's a there's <laughs> I gotta show you this it's funny so here's Wu Lang and you you know, you know me I have plenty of these but you know again they do really well here um, I think that's all that I wanted to share with you 
Today, there's more dendrobiums as you go down. Most of these, it's funny, most of these plants as we go all the way down the bench are the same plant. So, um, you know, I looked it up. There's no picture of this plant. I looked it up. Eh, it wasn't, wasn't something that I really liked, but apparently there's interest in it. Okay, anyway, so that's what we have here. Here, I got to show you this. They, they're selling, these are the coconut, coconut pots, but looks like the roots love to grab on to the coconut pot, pot, pots and the, the coconut fiber too. Okay, so that's all I have for today, for right now, not for today. Um, so what I want to do is go into the, um, so the next room that we're going to go see is the Vanda room. So I think I, I think I hit and I think I saw and showed you everything that I wanted to share with you in this room. So we'll take a look in the Vanda, Vanda room and then go from there. Okay, and we're back in the Vanda house. And what I'm seeing is not a huge amount, number of Vandas blooming, but still a nice collection. And what I, what I asked for when I came in here was the nicest smelling Vanda. So I got to smell this one that was good. And she said that the smaller flowers tend to be a little bit more fragrant. So this one had a nice fragrance to it. Tags right there. This one across the aisle, you get a better, not gonna, it's not cooperating. Okay, that had a really nice fragrance to it also. And I gotta show you the one that I ended up buying is right up here because I pulled it down and it was just the clear winner for fragrance. And we take a look at the tag. I can find it right here. Okay, so um, what I wanna do, we'll take a, just a real quick trip down this aisle and, uh, you know, just, I mean, and this is what, this is what these guys are known for, is their Vandas. So there, I guess, I guess when you get down here, there are a lot that are blooming. And the Vandas, so the price on that first one that we looked at was 65. This one is, so this, oh man, I'm sorry, you can't see it. This one's 50. Nice flower on there. As we move over here, wow, there's a deal. $35 Vanda right there. It may be because it's a little past. Another 50, I'm having problems with the backlighting on this. Okay, let's move over here so we don't have the backlighting. And then these Vandas are all, these are, these are $50 Vandas. And the name of this is right here. But it looks like most of these are that same Vanda. Okay, small one right there. But all of these right here are that same. And it looks like they're all 50 bucks and they're ready to give them away because I think that's a pretty good price for a Vanda. And I gotta move down here because I'm seeing some unusual colors. So down here, look at this pretty, this is, I like this, but I already bought my, my fill of Vandas today, which by the way is only one. That's, that, the color, I really like the color. That is, that is hot pink right there. And this, the price on this is 50 as well. And then the same plant right next to it. Okay, I'm gonna go down the next row. I'm not sure what's here, but we'll take a look. This is actually one of my favorite places um, to go Vanda shopping because, um, you know, they have all these divisions that are on this bench on the left and you can 
just pick and choose. And then my, my favorite part right here, all these seedlings. Oh, here's the hot pink vanda, right? And they're just all over. So that's what all these are too. I didn't need to go all the way down that row. But anyway, here's my favorite part is these vanda seedlings. And each one of these that I picked up and attached to my tree is done is living it's doing doing well but there you go 10 bucks each mix and match bare root vanda seedlings ten dollars so i mean they're small and they're going to take a while to bloom but again each one that i have i haven't lost a single one of these yet um, on the other hand none of them have bloomed yet but that's okay, they're getting big. I think they're gonna bloom pretty soon. All right, so I gotta turn this around and we got some more, look at these, my small, man, look at, look at this. Okay, there's some of these that are a little more open that we'll take a look at. All right, I think we're good. All right, getting back to the fans and back to a little bit of noise. I think, I think I'm good, I think uh, we've done what uh, I've shown you, everything that I wanted to share with you. And I should say, where are the pots? Okay, so the pots, I'm not gonna go there, but the pots that Melissa came here for are right back there, and then they're really economical. All those pots, there's, there's round holy pots, is what she calls them, and it's a pretty good price. I thought that they would be light because there's so many holes in them, but they're not. They're still pretty heavy. Anyway, um, that's all I have for today. Um, it's just a, it's just a really nice day to be here at RF Orchids in Homestead, Florida. I hope you enjoyed my video. If you did and you want to keep on seeing them, it would help me out. If you can click on like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you're not already a subscriber. All right, that's all I have for today. Again, I hope you enjoyed it and happy propagating.